Okay, perfect. So we just put the post on the business page. Now we're going to simply go back to the ads manager. So do we have a, a, a tab open or do we need to open another tab? Um, so let's open up another, another tab and go straight to your, to your bookmarks and just go to ads. Yeah. Business manager, and then go to ads manager. And then we'll just run this ad. So, and also keep in mind that in the very, very beginning, what we're, what we're also capturing is the data of these audiences. Um, so in the very beginning, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta put out one ad, two ads, three ads, and then, and then as data starts to be captured, people that are clicking, landing on the opt-in page, but not opting in, those are people that are in your custom audience that you're going to be able, be able to retarget on your third ad and on. So as we get to our third ad, we'll be retargeting those who landed on the page, those who saw the first ad and second ad, and those who actually clicked, landed on the page, but didn't opt in. Those are people that are going into an audience. So by the time we get to our third ad, we'll start retargeting those people. Um, and that's why the impressions on that, on that, that first one, 1,222, that's just, that's just, again, not even scratching the surface. What, what Facebook always says is, is, is take the impressions to a couple thousand before you even shut it off or before you even make a decision um, whether to, yeah, to shut it off or leave it on. So, so we barely got to 1,222. And that's based on a, that's based on the budget, so it's all based on the budget, the impressions. It's all based on how much was spent. Um, so let's let's click the green button and just and just start start the next one. So click the green one, and then we're going to go um, conversions. And our custom conversion should already be set up. So um, we'll hit continue, and we'll just name everything as we'll title everything as we go in. So let's just um, hit the blue one. So here at the very very top. We're going to start with a title. So new con new conversions campaign, right? Yeah, right there in the field. Delete that, and um, and and now you want to just be super descriptive, a brief description of what ad that is, or what image it is. So so what are we what are we doing in this image? We're wearing a black a black blouse or black shirt, a black sweater. We're we're standing by the tree. So whatever, try to How describe. About add to clear our image, because it's not going to be the next the same. It's not going to be the same picture next week. It's not going to what? I said it's not going to be the same picture next time around. So why don't we just say something like add to clearer image? Um, yeah, that whatever is going to help you understand. Yeah, whatever is going to make sense to you. Add to clearer image. And then in parentheses, so this is step one of three, right? We're going through three steps, the campaign, the ad set, and the ad. So right here on the campaign level, add to clearer image conversions. So that's what we do on the first step is we choose the objective, which was conversions. So in parentheses, conversions. And then the categories, you're going to always hit that special ad category, that drop down, and you're going to always go with housing, and that's it. Next, that's step one. That's it. So, so hit next, the blue one, and now let's go to the next step. So now on the second step, the ad set level, this is the middle tab when we're looking at the dashboard. This is where we simply go with our, our conversion. So in that conversion of, yeah, website. And then at the top two, we want to name it, but we'll name it after we set everything up first. Um, so the conversion event, check, yeah, click inside that, in that box and then scroll down. You want to look for your conversion, which should be seller guide leads, which is that one. That's your custom conversion. That's based on your thank you page. So here we're telling Facebook that the thank you page is the most important page. So when we're running this ad, it's not just, we're not just looking for people to click. We're looking for people to, people to land on that page. We're, be, we're being very specific. It's that page, the seller guide lead page, the thank you page. So now we're going to scroll down. And so now we're going to choose um, the daily budget. So anywhere from anywhere from $10 up would be, would be, would be good to start with on, on your daily budget. So $10 a day, $15 a day, whatever. Um, so leave the daily budget and then just change that $25, change that to, to something different, either 10 bucks, 15 bucks, whatever, anything above 10. Okay. So scroll down. And so now, and, and again, so here's, here's what I'm saying. Whatever, whatever the monthly budget is, that's what we're breaking down for two ads per month. So if we ran, if it, so for example, 15 bucks a day is 450 a month, right? So so if we ran 15 bucks a day times 15 days for the first ad, that was 225. 
So on this second ad, we're going to go for the next 15 days, right? So we're all always starting at the next day at 6 a.m. So 629, yeah, change that to that 6 a.m. So we're going to always start at the next day at 6 a.m. And then we're going to check the box for the end date and we're going to, we're going to run it for 15 days. So there, so if we have a total budget, if we're going 15 bucks a day, whatever you want to do, 15 bucks a day, 10 bucks a day, whatever. I just want you to think of the monthly budget. What is the actual monthly budget? So, so based on this number, 15 bucks a day, that's 450 a month. So all I'm saying is break it up in two. First ad got 225. This ad is going to get 225. So run it to the fifth, run it for 15 days. So June 29th to the, what is that? June 29th to the, to the, to July 29th. Go, yeah, hit the arrow up, hit the arrow, would it go to July? Was that to the 13th? Is that, is that right? To the 13th? Or okay. is it the 6th? Yeah, it's going to start on the 29th. Okay, All right. Two weeks is the 13th. Yeah, so we're into the 13th. And then the same 6 a.m. So you're running a full, a full, 15 day period. And so what you want to do in this case is, is let's always schedule a call, at least for the first few ads, right? I'm going to be here to really walk you through. I want to be here for whenever the hell you need me, Eve, but especially in these first few ads, let's always plan on talking. If we're scheduling it for 15 days, let's always plan on talking in 12 days. So don't even, don't even look at it as long as everything is on the back end is set up, right? The email automation, the funnel, everything, the calendar, as long as all that's working, we don't need to worry about it. As long as this ad publishes and it goes live, we don't need to worry about it. I don't even want to look at it in, until, until the 12th day, right? Because we got to give Facebook plenty of time and Facebook it really needs seven to 10 days to really, to really make a decision. But um, 12 days is when I want to jump back on with you. And, and we look at it together to, to make a decision as to whether or not we leave it on or we shut it off. And that's when we'll just always have the next ad ready. So, um, so good job on having this one ready. So scroll down. And so as we go to our third ad, ad, it's a little early right now to start retargeting audiences. But right there is where we would click inside custom audiences and we would be able to retarget previous audiences, those who clicked on the first ad, but, but didn't opt in, right? That that's when we'll start retargeting these people. And that's why the consistency in, in ads is so, so important because that gives people the ability to keep seeing you. They have to keep seeing you, keep seeing you, keep seeing you. That's the magic. Um, and that's, that's the retargeting of audiences. So locations, the United States. So we won't mess with the audiences right now. We're, we're too early to, to retarget. So edit and then now let's just um put in put in either you're either putting in take away the united states x that out so always you hit edit and then x that one out yeah x that one out and so you're gonna go people living in people living in this location hit the drop down real quick people people living in yeah because this has to be super specific people living in this location and then yeah then just go off of go off of your address and then, and then again, whatever, because I don't remember the first ad where we targeted, but whatever it was, and we can always check, but. It was just my location. You went off of that location, 15 miles, or was it more? Was it 20? It was more miles, but it was that location. Go, yeah, go whatever, because we're still early, early in, in, in all this. So, but whatever we pick here, that is your stomping ground. Okay, that's what we're going to focus on. We're not going to change it from on third from the third ad and on. We're going to continue to retarget this area. We're going to continue to target this area. So um, just type in the number. Type in the number to the right and then hit enter. Yeah, type it. Type it in right there and then just hit enter. So 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 if that's if that's the the targeting, stick with that. So here's what I want you to do: go all scroll all the way to the top, and and that that is the title. So go back up. Yeah. So new conversion ad set. Take away that. Let's put, let's put $15 a day, $15, $15 daily or whatever, $15 daily. And then, and then type in, and then, and then the address, not the full address, but maybe just partial address. Yeah. 2000. Yeah. Bell. That's it. Bell aisle. Perfect. Perfect. And that's it. So, so here I'm just making sure that I, that I can read that and know exactly what ad this is. So we're good. So scroll down. 
daily, 15 daily, 2000 bell. Um, we got the calendar, we got the location. We don't want to mess with age, gender, or detail targeting. We're good on that. Automatic placement, leave it there and then hit next. That's it. So that's step two. That's it. And then we go to the third and final step where over here, we're going to make sure that the Facebook page is the correct one. The Instagram account is, is the correct one. And then add setup, click on that drop down, create ad. And you're going to go with, you're going to go with um, um, use existing post. So right there, add setup, use existing post, and then select post. And then all you're going to do is simply find that post, which is that top one. Click on that and then hit continue. Okay, perfect. And then we'll, we'll scroll down. Okay, so this caption is too long for Instagram. That's fine. Okay, perfect. And then add button, add button. So right there, call to action, add button. And this is where your landing page link goes. So grab your link, um, either go to Kartra or if you have it bookmarked, grab it from there. Yeah, just double click it if, if you need to, to open it up. Just, just make sure everything is copied. Yeah, make sure everything. So HTTPS, all of that. Okay, perfect. So we're gonna grab the link and then just simply paste it in there. Update post. And then we wanna scroll down and make sure that the tracking is, is correct. So the website, you'll always want, um, when it comes to the tracking, always make sure that box is checked for website events, which it is. And then always make sure that that's the domain that we're running, we're running the pixel ID, which, which it is. Sometimes that box is not checked. So website events, sometimes it's just, it's just, it's just, it's, it's, it's blank. And you'll have to check it. And then you'll have to hit the drop down where the green dot is and find that domain. Sometimes you have to do it here. It's already there, which is perfect. But sometimes you actually have to do it. So that's what you're looking for is, is checking the box and then the green dot and then publish. And that's it. And then, um, and then what you want to do too, it, yeah, go to and publish. So publishing one of three, the blue has to turn green. Um, and if it doesn't turn green, which it tends to get stuck like this a lot. Um, so yeah, it got stuck. So now all you do is open up another tab, come back to your ads manager. So go to your, open up another tab, go to your bookmarks, open up the, open up the ads manager and push it through um, over there. So bookmarks. Okay, perfect. So now you'll 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 see the blue button in the top right. So review and publish. So click that blue button in the top right, and then just push it through here. So hit the green button, publish, and that's it. So so um, and then the page likes at the bottom shade that blue to to gray. The page like ad at the very bottom shade. Yeah, always turn it to gray, and then click the middle tab. So these are the three tabs we just went through: campaigns ad sets and ads. Those are the three tabs we just went through. So click on the middle tab, shade this to gray, and then do the same thing for the, for the third tab, shade that to gray. Even though the ad's already off, you just wanna shade it to gray because whenever we come in here and we see blue, we just automatically know it's on. Um, so, so uncheck the one selected, one selected, one selected. And then let's just check one last thing really quick. So uncheck these, yeah, hit the X, 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 yeah. One selected, one selected, one selected, just X them out. Okay, and then and then and then one thing you always want to do too is just double check your audiences. So hit the hit the three lines to the left. And you can always go to your bookmarks as well. But but let's just click on the three lines to the left and then go to audiences. And then just make sure that the audience is set up, which it is, but let's just double check. Um, in this case, it's just an image ad. So we want to we want to really make sure the audience is set up for the page. So um, it's a seller guide page visitors only that bottom page. So again, as as ads as 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 we run ads, right? Yes, and this is again what I mentioned in my in my lit, literally in my last YouTube video where I'm talking about how we all are looking for a lead. We're all looking for a sell. We're all looking for an appointment. We're running ads to capture lead. Yes, for sure. But what you have to also keep in mind is that we're also running ads to capture the data. So as people are, are seeing your ad and they're clicking and they're coming over to, over your over to your page, yes, okay, they didn't download it, but the fact that they actually landed there, they're being tracked. Those are people who are landing on the seller guide page visitors only. That that those are people who are landing in that audience. 
So as I continue to stay consistent with ads, I'm capturing that data and I'm going to be able to leverage that data with future ads. So as we go run ad number three, for example, we'll then start retargeting that audience. People that landed on the page, but haven't opted in. And then, and, then, and then the moment people, and that's an audience that you'll always want to retarget. From ad number three and on, we'll always retarget that audience. Seller guide page visitors only. Um, and, then, and then as leads come in, we'll then start excluding the audience of seller guide leads. So seller guide leads, those are people who actually landed on the thank you page. So that audience is being tracked. So then we'll start excluding that audience from seeing future ads. The moment a lead comes in, we'll start excluding that, that audience right away. Um, and that's it. And then as you start to put out video, then you'll start creating audiences around people watching your video. Um, they might not have clicked. They might not have went to your website, but they watched the video. They watched a percentage, 15 seconds, for example, of the video, put them in an audience, show them another ad. So, so that's all this is about is just, is just staying consistent with the ad, having a, bud, a monthly budget in mind and just saying, hey, I got to spend this money regardless. This is my marketing regardless and, and, and not even really micromanaging it, just spending it, running it and just staying consistent. And so let this one run. Let's not even let's not even look at it. Um, let's not even look at it for the next for the next few days, really. Um, and, and you'll know that leads are coming in because of because of Karcher, really. You, you can see leads coming in here. But what I do is I like to always, I, I track it on Kartra. Like as long as that lead comes into Kartra, that's, that's where I look at the leads. So just make sure. So any, any questions on this ad or any questions on the audience? No, I'm, I'm no. Like what's the ad spend that I should be spending? Not, not 15 a day. Like what should I be spending? Well, to tell you the truth, if you can, if you can do 15 a day, then, then do 15 a day. 450 a month. If you could do 450 a month, then, then I want you there. But, but if you, if, if not, then go $10 a day and there's 300 a month. So all you're doing is running one ad for 15 days. There's 150. Run another ad for, for the next 15 days. There's an, for the next 15 days, there's the other 150. There's 300 a month. So that's how you want to, you, you want to, you, you got to, yeah, you got to, you got to be at least $10 a day minimum. Um, and then the moment we start getting leads, the moment we even close a damn deal, we're going to scale that number up. Like the moment you close a deal, like I want you taking literally, like the moment you close a deal, Eve, like I pro I swear, like I, I, I wish you would take, and again, I don't, everyone's business is different. I guess I, I get it. I totally you a, a deal from this. Yeah. Like the moment you close a deal, like the moment you, yeah, yeah. As we stay consistent, as we get someone in, under contract and you close a deal. You take you take thirty percent of that commission, and you put it aside for ads. So so if you were and and that's when you really crush it. So let's say let's say for example, let's say for example you do make six grand, and I take thirty percent of that, which is eighteen hundred, and I put it aside for ads. That's eighteen hundred eighteen hundred divided by thirty days. That's when you're now that's when you're now spending sixty bucks a day. And you're dominating your local area, dominating at a sixty dollar a day budget. You would freaking take over that whole entire town. Everybody and their mother would know who you are in that area. Okay. That's how powerful this is. Like, forget door knocking, forget your flop, your flyers, forget even freaking local events. Run a Facebook ad. Get in people's newsfeed. Everyone's on their phone right now. So, so if I can continue to show my face to all these people, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to, my branding is, and that's the thing. It's, it's the data that we're capturing. It's not always about the lead that we're capturing. It's the data. And it's also the branding. The fact that even on that other ad, even though that other ad flopped 1200 people, 1222 to be exact, um, based on the impressions, 1222 people saw your face. So if I, if I spent 50 bucks, to get 1,200 people down the street to see my face. Yeah, they didn't click. Yeah, they didn't enter their information, but they see my freaking face. There's value to that. There's no way I could have knocked on 1,200 doors. And even if I did, there's no way 1,200 people would have opened the damn door. Right? So, so how else can I brand myself? That's why I always try to make sense where it's like, what else can I spend 50 bucks on? You know what I mean? So, so 
we're just getting started. We're just getting started. But from this point on, here's all I want you to do. All I want you to do is practice these damn pictures, practice taking a bunch of more pictures. Like we need, we need clear pictures. We need outdoor pictures we need in the light, go out there in the sun. I mean, you're out there in, uh, where are you, South Carolina? You're in South Carolina, right? Yeah, there's a lot of sun out here. Not this week, but there's a lot of sun in general. Yeah, right. So so when you get the sun, it's like shit, go out there and, and take some photos, have fun with it. And that's all we need. Right now. <laughs> I swear to God, I tried, but what's that? I said I tried. Yeah, I know, I know, but I want you to freaking don't just come back with four, come back with 40. You know, like like go out there and just get trigger happy and 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 and, and just take a bunch of pictures, vertical, horizontal. Cause, cause that's the only thing that I see. Your text was amazing. Your copywriting that you got, you got copywriting skills and you don't even know it. So, so what you're writing, the text that that's freaking awesome. Now we just need, now we just need images or we need video. And, and that's, that's going to be the, 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 the form of testing. We're targeting a local area. We just need to keep putting out more images. That's it. And, and stay consistent with the budget. You know, that's it. So any questions on this part? Yeah. Okay, cool.